Well, greetings, River Oaks. Greg Lanier here. Hope you all are doing well. And I wanted to take just a couple minutes of your time to provide you with a brief update on what we are going to do next in terms of River Oaks' response to the ongoing COVID pandemic. One of the great things we've seen over the past month or so is a fairly meaningful increase in worship attendance. And if you've been attending, you'll no doubt notice that things have gotten fuller over time. So much so, in fact, that this past Sunday, on November 8th, we essentially ran out of seats in the second service. And so we've been anticipating this moment, trying to make plans that are as prudent as possible. And so in this video, I'm going to briefly outline four parts of the next phase of how we will continue making progress, uh, some of the steps we'll take in terms of the worship services on Sunday. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Let me walk you through those four points now. The first point to emphasize is that we will continue asking worshipers to wear face masks while they are in the building on Sundays. We acknowledge, no doubt, that this is one of the more contentious issues, uh, both locally and nationally, when it comes to our response to the pandemic. And we, of course, know that many of you are at very different places when it comes to uh, the wearing of some sort of facial covering. Uh, and so this is not a decision made lightly. Uh, we feel like church, the church has been very blessed that we haven't had any substantial outbreaks out of worship service, and God has, by and large, with a few folks getting infected and so forth along the way, God has uh, largely protected us. And that's not necessarily because of masks, but we do believe that uh, continuing to wear masks is the wisest course of action, at least for the foreseeable, uh, really regardless of what happens in terms of local or even potentially federal mask mandates. And the reason for that is there are many within our church body uh, who are persuaded uh, that wearing a face mask when you're in close quarters for potentially up to an hour or more that involves singing and a lot of other components that are different than when you go to the grocery store, that the best way to protect yourself and others, uh, whenever you don't have many other, other options on the table, is to wear a face mask. And so we want to make our worship service as accessible to as many people as possible. And for those who are persuaded uh, that wearing a face mask is a must in that kind of situation, or otherwise they couldn't come to worship, we want to make it possible for them to be there uh, to the extent possible. And so uh, we continue to ask for your patience in uh, wearing masks. It seems like uh, most folks are kind of used to it by now. And so uh, for now, we're going to hold the course on that. Second thing to emphasize is that we will increase seating capacity. Uh, right now, we have, of course, limited the seating capacity to maintain social distancing, but in light of our attendance trends, we do feel like it is necessary at this point to increase the number of rows uh, that are available. Uh, in fact, on in one of the Sundays, we had some folks who actually couldn't find a place to sit. So we want to address that as well in terms of our seating capacity. But that raises to uh, other major points. The first is this. For now, you know, as a church, we have never wanted to make the two worship services different in any sort of substantial way. And so this is a temporary measure. Uh, but what we will aim to do for the next several weeks or however long this lasts is maintain a higher level of precaution in the nine o'clock service. Uh, we want to have a place where those who are more at risk, uh, perhaps who um, still have uh, many uh, justifiable concerns about the pandemic. We want to make it possible for them to have a worship opportunity that has a higher level of uh, sanitation and safety precautions, where, they, where we're able still to offer some measure of social distancing and so on. And so uh, we have chosen that the nine o'clock service is the most logical place for that to happen, where we can at least make good on this idea of having some level of social distancing combined with the wearing of masks. And so we will continue to maintain a, an attendance level of roughly 70 in that service, which permits us in the ballpark to have something like six feet of social distancing. And therefore we will continue to ask people who want to come to the first service to, in order to be able to have a more uh, safe environment to RSVP in advance. That's the only way we can manage uh, the attendance level in some sort of safe way. Uh, therefore, the second service, that is our 11 o'clock service, uh, will be uh, modified in the following way. We will no longer require RSVPs for that service. Uh, what that means is, you know, if you wanna come to the second service, it's kind of your own judgment call that you're coming acknowledging that it's gonna be tighter seating, we can't guarantee social distancing, uh, you may very well be right next to someone, we're not gonna have the same kind of spacing between the rows, 
and you're knowing you're knowingly entering into an environment where that's going to be the case and if so we're not going to need the rsvps at that point um which you know admittedly have become less and less effective anyhow as more folks probably have become uh, event bright fatigued so those are the four main points that we will try to implement and we will of course post this not only here in this video but also on our website and in other channels so everyone knows what to expect on sunday well, thanks for watching and as always thank you for your patience you know, one of the challenges of this season is that we're trying to manage a lot of different perspectives uh, on the pandemic we still have many folks who are worshiping from home and we continue to hope to provide you with excellent opportunities in terms of streaming content as well as chances to catch up with other people virtually and we have others of course who would prefer this was all behind us and we could take off the mask and we thank that group for continuing to put others needs ahead of their own and doing their best to make our various church gatherings, especially the Sunday worship service, as accessible to everyone as possible. If you ever have any questions about how we are progressing through the pandemic, please don't hesitate to reach out to me directly or to the church office. I'll be delighted to hear from you. And thank you to everyone for continuing to pray for us as a church leadership team and our church in general to continue seeing fruit, to continue uh, doing the best we can in light of difficult circumstances to honor Christ uh, within our own body and within the community. So thanks again for watching and look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.